right, boys. Today we are playing Five Nights at Biden's. I'm pretty sure that the game is called Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, but I am intimidating enough that they made me a fan game. More like scary, scary looking. You are 70, closing on to 80, and you are scared of a grandpa. I'm not scared. I'm saying that Joe's, you know what, just never mind. Here we go. I hope I grabbed enough pairs to last this entire video. How many did you grab? About 13. You grabbed 13 pairs of pants for a 10 minute video? You will literally have to shit yourself more than one time per minute to go through all of them. Well, you know, I was never- Shut up! Phone guy is talking! Hello? Hello? Welcome to the White House. I'm Elon Musk and you must be the new security guard. Your job is to make sure nobody gets in or out of the building. Try to keep an eye on Obama. He becomes pretty active as the night progresses and might try to enter your office. If you see him getting close, you can close the door and he will leave eventually. Take a look under your desk. See that vent? That vent is directly connected to Joe's room. Joe is sleeping in his room. That's why he's known as Sleepy Joe. Make sure to rewind his record player from time to time. It's important he stays asleep. Very important. Now, as you may have noticed already, Trump is currently in the basement. We moved him there after a recent incident. Some important electrical units can be found in the basement. It's very important these are working properly since the building has a limited amount of power. If Trump messes with one of the power units, you can give him a small shock. And he will probably leave. Anyways, I think that's it. I'm sure you'll do fine. Buy Dogecoin and have a good night. That is some bad advice, kids. Don't buy Dogecoin. Who are you to decide? Anyone can decide. Doge has been crashing really hard these past few, what, like, decades that is not really important can one of you recap what elon said i only caught some of it so for joe yes no i was talking about the joe that is in the game from now on i will refer to him as biden i will call everyone in the game by our last names so for biden we need to keep rewinding his track so he stays asleep for obama we just need to keep track of where he is and for trump we need to flash him if he starts damaging the electrical shit down there and if any one of them gets close we need to close the doors that is pretty much it. Any questions? Yeah. I lost you around the part where you said something about me being in the game. You certainly are in the game, Sleepy Joe. That doesn't answer my question. Um, my question was, what should we do? At least, what should I do? What you should do is go to your bedroom, take your pills, and then come back, lay back, relax, and shut your damn mouth. But I already took my pills today. I'm surprised you even remember what day it is. He can forget that he didn't take his pills too, Donald. We now have the problem of, did he take them or not? No, trust me, I would play through a full night if I turned out to have forgotten it. Nah, if he wasn't so certain that he took them, he wouldn't take up such a challenge. Besides, how can we prove it either way? That is the point. We have no idea how we can do that. We can only assume by seeing how well he is looking and is acting. But at the end of the day, it is very bad either if he took the pills or not. What are you waiting for? Shut the damn door. Oh, that rhymed. I'm actually Snoop Dogg's cuz we be raised in the same who. I am not entirely sure this is racist or not. It certainly does feel like it is though. So maybe we should cancel Donald Trump. We can't cancel an in-game Oh, you were talking about Donald. Well, if you cancel him, then you will have to cancel yourself too. You are the absolute definition of a pedophile. A pedophile? But I love kids. Oh, I get it now, but I don't mean it in that way, I promise. Would you play through a full night if we proved you wrong? You, no. Gotta love it when he admits it himself. I didn't admit anything. All I said was if you proved it, I would still not be down to play through a full night. So you are afraid that we might find some evidence somewhere? Which means that there are. We just have to find it. Found it. YouTube Joe sniffing children. No, don't YouTube that. Oh, look, Trump is doing something. Let me flash him real quick, then I will YouTube Joe sniffing children. Yeah, trust me, you really want to see this. I can already picture it in my head. All right, check both doors and cams real quick, then YouTube it. We'll do, big bro. All right, I will look it up right now. No way, there are actual videos about this. Are you kidding, Joe? No, no, they are fake, trust me. They are uh, photoshopped. Don't waste your time watching them. You might lose while you are watching that bullshit. You know he's talking facts when he burps mid-sentence. Just click any one of them, Barack. I'm already midway through one of them and, oh my God, this should be illegal. How are you not in jail? Are you stupid or what? First of all, I said that they were um, photoshopped. Second, the president can't be thrown in jail. Photoshop from its name only makes photos. Yeah, this is unacceptable. 
hey, Donald, make sure first thing you do is to throw him in jail once you take back your presidency. You think I haven't planned that out yet? Well, that is in your dreams as it is rigged for me to win. Hold up. Trump is doing something in the basement. Is it just me or is this game a literal cakewalk? It is super easy, especially when compared to the original FNAF games or even the other fan-made games like The Joy of Creation, for example. That was such a joke, how some fans made a better game than the original. And I'm pretty sure it got more attention because of that, too. Not only that, but The Joy of Creation got remastered, too. But that still won't make us forget about your pedophilia, Joe. How many times do I have to tell you this, huh? I, I am not a pedophile. I was never a pedophile. I will never be a pedophile, and I would never harm any child. Then explain all of these videos taken of you sniffing children's hair, and all of the times you were talking to children in a sketchy way, and also how about the poor little kids in all the third world countries you destroyed. I can easily explain all of that. The videos taken of me, it's fake news. They are photoshopped. I can make similar videos. And the poor little children that supposedly I harmed is easily propaganda. Are you saying that we don't know our source as well? Yes, as you clearly have no clue of what you were talking about, it is so clear that these videos are fake and that I have done absolutely nothing to harm any child. Hold on, hold on. You say that the videos are fake, right? Prove it then. I can't prove what is fake. You are the one claiming that these videos are real, which they are not. Uh, so you are the one to prove that they are real. I mean, they're literally right there, right in front of your eyes. Maybe you are just hallucinating because all I am seeing is fake. Wait, hold on. Do you even comprehend how stupid that statement is? before anything. I also saw those videos, so there is no way for me to be having the same hallucination as Donald. Second, you saw them yourself, which also proves that they are not hallucinations, and you can't see fake. You can only prove that something is fake once it is shown. This is not news that we are talking about. This is video footage. So what do you have in your defense to prove that it is actually fake? Well, look at the background. Do you see it? Yes, we see it, and there is absolutely nothing wrong with it. You are just pulling random shit out of your ass so you don't admit that you are a sick pedophile that needs fixing and should be thrown in jail forever. I'm a, oh, uh, what? What even is a pedophile? A predator? Like a lion or a tiger? More like a child predator. Besides, didn't you use pedophile three times in a single perfectly correct sentence and you even used its meaning in the sentence? No, I didn't. If I did, then remind me of that sentence that presumably I said. Hold on. Aha, uh -huh, I found it. You said, how many times do I have to tell you this, huh? I am not a pedophile. I was never a pedophile. I will never be a pedophile. And I will never harm any child. To which Donald responded, just in case you still don't remember it, then explain all of these videos taken of you sniffing children. Damn, are we being recorded right now, Barack? I'm not sure if there are any agencies recording us at this moment, but I record everything you and Joe say just in case of an emergency like right now when Joe started acting all dumb and I had to bring him the sentence he said himself. Just like that? Did you forget about this thing called, um... Oh, privacy? This could be considered piracy. You can go to jail for this. Shut your stupid ass up, you absolute moron. There isn't no piracy here. Besides, if I went to jail for this small of a crime, then you should be tortured to death for your actions. Isn't 6 a.m. coming soon? I'm pretty sure it should have came like two minutes ago. I am pretty sure there is about a minute left. These are hours, by the way, not minutes. So if an hour lasted one minute and a half, or heck, even two minutes, then you passed six hours of in-game time in only eight minutes. Can I ask you a question, Barack? Why does your voice glitch sometimes? Because he is a robot, or even better, an alien. I'm not sure if we are lucky or not. We might be lucky for finding aliens, but we are not because they are black. You better be super careful with the next few letters that are about to exit your shithole of a mouth. Um, I was just saying that they are very playful and we are busy, so we can't take care of them. Why would an alien that has traveled this far to meet you need your care? So you admit you are an alien? Mom, I found an alien. Can't 6 a.m. just come already? I'm done playing with you morons. Thank God. No, hold on. There is a mini game that you play after each night, I am pretty sure. Well, here you go. Take this damn controller as I am going to sleep. I don't want to see your moron faces for the rest of the day. You take it, Donald. You know I find these horror games very childish and a waste of time. Oh, look, it's me with all of my money. Hold on. One fell out. I am pretty sure there are three in total, as you can see in the bottom, right? Where am I supposed to go now? The only way you can go is right. All right, I'm going. Why am I so slow? It doesn't really matter as there should be no monsters in this level. It is just a mini game. Well, I have two now and there is a third. It says to return to my room. I would prefer to just leave this place. I'm pretty sure that you can't leave right now. Just do as it says and go back to your room. All right, finally, we are done with the first night. Quite literally, nothing happened all night. 
You guys should tell us in the comments if you would like to see night two, as it would be a lot more impactful and harder. Here we go into night two. Well, that was it for today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Brock isn't here, so I'm going to do his part and hit that notifications button. Why does it feel way off when you are the one to do it, huh? Welcome back to part two of Five Nights at Biden's. Since you guys really loved the first part, we might turn this into a series. So if this video gets 2,000 likes, we will drop a part three. Why do you sound all lazy and sad, Barack? He always sounds like that, Sleepy Joe. Anyways, here we go. Why is Elon calling us again? Like, didn't he already explain everything in the first night? Well, this is five nights at Freddy's. Biden's. So each night has its thing. Barack didn't even care that you interrupted him. What a boss. Thanks. What? This was an insult. Shut! Welcome back for night two. Did I mention that the presidents get more active as the week progresses? Oh, well. Uh, anyways, did I ever tell you that for only eight dollars a month you can be verified on twitter yes you heard that right only eight dollars that's really cheap i know and i mean who doesn't want a blue check behind their name anyways good luck tonight and i'll speak to you tomorrow also please do not forget to buy some dogecoin doge has actually gone up one percent but it is still a shitty way of investing your money anyhow what are we supposed to do again did you take your pills today sleepy joe Anyways, so for Biden, we have to rewind his sleep tape. And for Trump, we have to flash him every time he messes with the electrical stuff. That is pretty much it. And yeah, we just have to keep checking on Obama to make sure he is not close. And if he is close, we just have to close the doors on him. So far, no one has done anything. How do some people fail at this game? You do realize that we are still at 12 a.m., right? We probably won't even make it to 3 a.m., heck, even 2. That is neither the spirit or the enthusiasm we need while playing video games, Barack. We are here to have fun. First of all, you sound like a bitch saying that. Second, did Obama just say quit playing Minecraft? What? I never said anything about Minecraft. Joe was talking about in-game Barack. And yeah, he said something about Minecraft, but not quit playing Minecraft. It sounded more like let's play Minecraft. I personally vote for quit playing Minecraft. And I honestly think it was let's play Minecraft. Maybe the viewers should be the one to decide what he said, so drop what you think he said in the comments. Anyhow, why are you checking the lights? You saw Obama on cams. Well, he is in the next room, so he could come in our room at any moment. No, 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 that is not how it works. Once you can't see him anywhere on cams, that is when... That is when he what? Don't you see him right there? You interrupted me, just as I have said. Once he disappeared from camo one, he appeared next to your door. You see how the game is starting to get harder and harder, Sleepy Stop. Joe? We are just at 1 a.m., by the way. I don't see it getting actually hard at all. All we have done so far is rewind the track and close Obama's door. Technically, it is our door, not his. And look, Trump is playing with the electrical stuff. Stop playing with the electrical stuff, Donald. I am not playing with anything. It is in-game Donald that is doing all of that. Is this starting to get confusing for your guys as much as it is for me? Damn, this is confusing. What do you mean by our guys? What do you mean? Are you making fun of me just because I slipped an extra letter into my sentence? That is how you know that Barack is starting to get bored. He starts doing random ass shit. When have I ever done something random? The only thing that I have done that could be classified as random ass shit is looking at your eyebrows for too long that one time. Don't forget to rewind Joe's track. I mean the other Joe's track. Damn, I am getting confused. There is a super simple way to fix your confusion, but if you guys would only listen to me. As I've said, we can use our first names to call IRL us and use our last names to call in-game us. Sounds good. Sounds good, but why were you absolutely not bothered by the fact that last name you was about to drop us? That is no biggie. You know, what I am bothered by is that there is this creepy ass noise. I am aware that it is an ambient noise, but it is so on the spot that my leg hair is starting to stand up. Did you just call Michelle Obama? I mean Barack, I mean Obama. How are you so confused, young fella? Even I am not confused by such a thing. First of all, not just because you are older, that means that I am young. Yes, I am younger, but I am still pretty old. So it is fine for me to get confused by little things. Besides, aren't you the one to get confused by bicycle paddles? And by the way, Barack, you don't need to waste power on flashing the door light. You only need to do that once you hear him do one of his weird voice lines, such as, Let's play Minecraft or Michelle. Why did you say Michelle like that? Trust me, big bro. I meant absolutely no disrespect to anyone. Also, quick note so you can save power. You can open the door once you hear him say, when will this stop happening or something like that? Okay, Joe. 
But Donald, why do you keep calling us big bros when you are the old, the second, the oldest? Shit, this is one hell of a calculation. So Joe is 80 and both of you and Bush are 77 and I am 62. So are you the second or the third oldest? I don't understand, to be honest. First of all, Donald is bigger by about a month. So I am technically the third oldest one here. And second, it doesn't really matter in this case. Your problem is that he is older than you, yet he calls you big bro. Both of us like to do that as a way of showing respect, you know? Well, you don't know since you have never and probably will never show respect to any one of us ever. Obama made a move. Check cams, quick. And by the way, look, we made it to 3 a.m., big bro. That honestly doesn't feel like respect at all. It just feels like he is making fun of me for being younger. That honestly sounds like a you problem. He is trying to show respect and apology, yet you are receiving it as hatred. Well, I am sorry for receiving it as hatred and disrespect when I am sort of sure that you meant respect. You are very bad at apologizing. Has anyone ever told you that before? Well, there is no time for all of that stuff now. Check cams. Make sure he is not close. Well, we can still see him. Let me just flash the flashlight to make sure that he is not there. He disappeared. How are you this calm? Close the damn door. I'm calm for a lot of reasons. First, he could have gone somewhere else. Second, we have a lot of time on our hands to flash him and close the door. And finally, being calm will help in thinking quickly and reacting accordingly. There are two Baracks in my ears. Good job. Is this one of the aging symptoms, Sleepy Joe? No. In-game, Barack was saying that he is proud because we closed the door. Now, I personally think that he is making fun of us into letting him in. And IRL Barack was saying, IRL Barack shit. Well, we have to focus as much as possible. We are at 4 a.m. We don't want to screw up after all of the shit that we have been through. You are talking as if we were at war or something? This is a video game. It hasn't been seven minutes. Worst case scenario, we lose and have to restart. Nothing beyond that. Well, you aren't taking the game seriously. You are not in the zone to understand what I am talking about, Barack. Besides, we will lose time if we restart. You are talking as if we will not launch Battle of Patriots once we are done with five nights at Biden's. Well, everything seems quiet for now. Let's hope it stays like that for the rest of the night. We got two hours left. Weren't you wondering how some people lose in such a game? Do you see what we meant by it gets harder as the night progresses? Heck, even Elon said the same thing. It turned five. Who, your girlfriend? I'm not talking about her now. Besides, she turns six next week, so you really can't really consider her five, even though she technically is. Anyways, I was talking about the clock. It is now 5 a.m., only one more hour, and we are done with the night. I was joking, Sleepy Joe. Did you just expose yourself to everyone on the Internet? Oh, well, I was just joking, too, Donald. You know I like to joke a lot. Look, Obama's face. Isn't it funny? What do you mean, exactly? by what you have just said. I would advise you to be explicitly careful with the next few letters that come out of your mouth. I was talking about in-game Obama. Besides, next time we have to be careful and say that Trump is playing with the wires. I mean, is playing with the shit down there. I mean that he is playing with the electrical shit with the wires. You guys know what I am talking about. I think I do. Otherwise, I would question the absolute shit out of you right here on this couch. Well, you don't have any wires to play with him with. I mean, to interrogate him with. Shit, that was a close one. Don't you worry, big bro. You are in safe hands. Can Barack shut the hell up already? I mean, Obama. You really are. Can Obama shut up already? Good job. I personally don't think it was a good idea to have their names as our father's names. Every time we talk to and game us in a rude way, it feels like we are disrespecting one another's father. Yeah, I absolutely agree with Joe. That is why I got mad every time any one of you was talking about in-game me. Let's freaking go, boys. Don't get too excited. We don't know what the mini game is. We might lose in it. These are not like the mini games that let us head straight into 2 a.m. in the original FNAF games. These are lore mini games, I would assume. This time we are playing as Joe. So I am assuming that we are going to be collecting ice cream. Called it. This game has to be racist for this. It has to be racist, ageist, and all of the is known to mankind. Admit it, you do love ice cream. Man, I do. Well, anyways, that was it for today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Wait, there is more to the game. This level is much bigger than the first one. Uh, left or right, left or right? I believe you should go to the left. To the right it is then. You are gonna regret it. How so? 
told you. Well, that was it for today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And join our Discord server. Link in the description. Since when do we have a Discord server? Since today, actually. So make sure to be one of the OGs of the server. And like, if you want to see a part three. Welcome to part three of Five Nights at Biden's. We are heading to part three right away, okay? Joe, did you take your pills today? I mean, you literally was playing at a certain point. Forget about Joe. Let's head straight in. Is that the same idiot Elon Musk? You remembered. What do you mean by that? I don't remember anything. Joe, cut the bullshit, you attention seeker. Oh, what? Are you guys making fun of my disabilities? Exactly. Talk about yourself. Welcome back to the third night here at the White House. Happy to see you still haven't quit yet. Man, do you ever think about going to Mars? I wish I could live there in some underground bunker in my dog point all day while driving a Tesla. That would be so cool. Do you want to buy a flamethrower? I can hook you up with one if you're interested. I could also implant a chip into your brain that teaches you how to do every dance from Fortnite. Anyways, have a good night. Invest all your money into Tesla and buy Dogecoin. How many times do we have to tell you it, uh, we will not invest in any of your bullshit? So you remember that we keep on telling him that Dogecoin is bad, yet you don't remember anything else about this game or what, Joe? What are you talking about, Donald? I perfectly remember everything that has happened in the last part. Heck, even that part before, which is a record if you ask me. Yeah, but I'm fine. Remind me again, why are we working here between every other McDonald's and Starbucks? Because every other McFrickin' Donald's doesn't pay $60 an hour. Since when does any sort of security donut eating, coffee drinking, fat ass getting paid $60 an hour? My security team has paid more than that. So all of our tax money goes into you being safe while getting a McFrickin' ice cream. Unbelievable, Joe. Anyways, check cams, Barack, Foxy. I mean, Obama has been sneaking around, most likely. No, he hasn't played a single sound cue, which he should do before every single move. Don't change the topic, Joe. What other nonsense bullshit have you been doing with my, with America's money? I, I, I... I, I what? Spell it, Joe. Oh, I bought cheats for Minecraft. I'm sorry. Uh, I know I'm a disappointment and a disgrace, but... Is it just me, or did they get Barack's stare into the soul right on point? Yeah, I scared the living crap out of him. I mean, he scared the living crap out of him. I mean, I... Just shut the hell up, Barack. You missed all of your verbal English lesson, all of your English classes. Is it just me, or does the fig and fresh brown turkey that we had earlier make us more stuttery? What the hell is a fig and fresh brown turkey, Sleepy Joe? Are you making words up or what? It is the totally not weird, absolutely delicious ice cream that we had just a few minutes ago. <laughs> I didn't know in game me was that intimidating. No, nah, I think he is choking. What an attention seeker. What the absolute shit, Joe? He is choking. Here, take, keep playing while I do CPR. No, 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 thank you. I was just joking around. I guess all it takes to bring someone back from a coma or whatever what Donald was in is called is to just tell them that you are about to do CPR, no? You were talking about CPR? Check cams quick, Barack. Am I not handsome, you guys? No, you are not, and flash the left door. Nothing there. Aren't you the one to scream at Barack for flashing the doors while we are able to see Obama on cams? Isn't he supposed to be at the door when he is not on any of the cams? Damn, I don't even remember that, but flash again, just to make sure that he is not there. We are almost at 3 a.m. Come on, boys, we got this. Who said that we don't got this? Someone did. This handsome dude. All he says is, let's play Minecraft and something about not closing the door in his face, which is reasonable. You closing the door at someone's face just for being black? Now that's racist, Barack. But if I don't close the door at his face, he will kill me. Get the hell out of this video, you racist son of a bitch. Close the door already. Hold on a bit. We can save power using this trick. You know what else could happen while using this trick? A big black man attacking you at the middle of the night. Did you just call me a big dude? Thanks, bro. Really he also called you black. Good job. Do you think I would still be around this shitty house if I got butt hurt over every single other word? We forgot to rewind Joe's track. You're right. But I was looking for Obama before he jump scares us or something. Don't worry. Obama doesn't appear on cams or is able to jump scare right after we close the door at him. But you are still closing the door at a black guy's face and you consider him scary. Even the liberals who made this game and locked me in the basement consider him scary. Are the poor, hardworking developers called liberals if they portray you in a not absolutely levels beyond perfect way? You need to try making a game to understand what they have to go through. And no, they are not racist. The scary guy is black because he was a president. Nothing to do with skin color here. 
We'll focus up. We are at 3 a.m. and we have already used 47% of our electricity. Stop flashing the damn door, goddammit. We need to conserve power. You were talking about a tactic that will save us electricity, yet you are not even past the basic tactics. Are you saying that I am a noob at this game, Sleepy Joe? Are you saying that I don't have the basic skills to get us through a night that I got you through two of already? Yes. It could have been luck that got us through the first two nights, but on this pace, you will not make it in night four or five. You waste so much power by flash checking the door stop? quite a ton. We would have all been attacked by a big black dude if it wasn't for this flash check. Well, I'm going to admit it. This was a good flash check, and I'm not talking about this one. I am talking about the frequent flash checks that Barack does while seeing Obama on cams. I do agree with Joe. He is being informative rather than hateful, so I am cool with what he is saying. You should have checked cams with the electricity that you have wasted on flash checking the door that Obama just ran away from. But I can't see him on cams. Doesn't that mean that he is at one of the doors? First of all, using that logic, he should be at the other door, not the door that you have flashed a quintillion times already. And no, it doesn't work like that. He doesn't appear on cams right after he goes away from our door. So you are safe right after he plays the sound cue of leaving the door until he shows up on cams again. And then you have to keep track of him until he disappears again, which means that he is at one of the doors. Look, it's 4 a.m. We got to focus up real hard right now. Plus, we have already lost like half of our viewers because of that long ass physiology bullshit that you have just said. Is it just me or is Sleepy Joe is quite the opposite of Sleepy Joe sometimes? I actually took my pills today. I am not totally sure if I like non-Sleepy Joe more or our regular Sleepy Joe. Watch out, we are at 20% electricity slash power slash battery slash... We get it, we have as much power as an average Valorant player. Or as much power as a streamer who has been streaming all day every day for the past seven years. Be careful because he is right around the corner. One more sound cue and he is at our right door. Did the power just go up from 20% to 27%? And now it is 25% thanks to the very useful flash check. Apparently, non-Sleepy Joe is not very non-Sleepy, and he read 28% as 20%. Well, you can't blame me. I am getting old, and the more I get old, the more my vision goes to shit. Sucks to be old, no? You are three years younger, you saggy bag of bones. You will get there soon, buddy. You shouldn't be saying there. It is more like here. Trump is doing something. But Obama is at our door. It's starting to get stressful. And I explicitly told you that he is at our right, yet you still flash check the left. Proud. Not only that, you flash you check right, which is where he was you last, so he could have gotten us. And you also wasted a lot of electricity, so be careful, since we are now at 20%. And I'm reading it correctly this time. Don't sweat it, Joe. We are at 5 a.m., only one more minute, and we all go home. For crying out loud. Why the hell are you still flash checking every single door at every single other second, huh? Are you trying to get me thrombosis or what? We are at 5 a.m., so better be safe than sorry. We will end the night with excess power too. Just watch. Besides, I thought you took your pills today, so why are you still getting mad? Donald is the one with chill pills, mine are for dementia and focus and shit. You take pills to shit? Since when is that a thing? Or are you pulling it out of your ass, quite literally? <laughs> you don't get it? We both get it, but we are just, we are both disappointed. This joke was so bad, I am actually starting to get mad right now. I guess I will just be quiet then. That would be a lot better, Donald. Look, we still have 8% electricity and the night will end at any moment now. Let's go. That wasn't very hard, was it? Keep in mind, this is only night three. We still don't know what lies ahead in night four or five. Well, let's finish the mini game quick so I can go take a dump. I have been holding it in for quite a bit now. You know what? I have absolutely zero clue of what they made me collect. Maybe an ice cream. Or cop. Our lawyer advised you to not complete that joke, Donald. Well, let me see what they made me pick up. Ooh, pizza. I kind of feel that this game got a ton of stuff right on point. You don't say. Weren't we talking about all the similarities just a few minutes ago? At the end of the day, this game is made about us. Is something going to happen like with my mini game? Well, let's just watch.
Wow, a dark screen. Well, that was it for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And join our Discord server. Isn't it dead already? Matter of fact, we didn't have a single day of inactivity, and it is going to stay like that, baby. All right, boys, today we are playing Five Nights at Biden's again. Why do you sound as if it is not a good thing, huh? Maybe because this game is scary and it portrays Donald in a bad way. You guys are wussies. I'm enjoying this game. You don't even know what episode this is, right, George? Nothing new. Let's just head straight in. What does Elon have to say this time? Buy Dogecoin and invest in Tesla. The man had a vision and tried to achieve it. So don't make fun of him for not achieving it. Well, maybe he actually has something new this time. We have to listen to him either way. Hello? Hey, welcome to another night at the White House. I got some funny news to tell you. Apparently, the person who was doing the day shift forgot to completely recharge the battery of the building before your shift began. Funny, right? Anyways, I'm sure you'll do fine. Just make sure to watch your battery level. You don't want to run out of power in this place. Have a good night and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Oh yeah, almost forgot. Go buy some Dogecoin. Also, just a quick reminder, a blue check on Twitter can be bought for only $8 a month. Cheap, right? To be honest, he had me in the first half. I actually did think that he won't say Doge bullshit. Hold on, hold on. How do you forget to completely fill up a battery? It must have been you who did it. It is not time to crack jokes. We barely have enough when it is 100%. How are we going to make it on only 70? It is even 68% already. Well, the plan is simple. Don't check cams unless you hear Obama's sound cue, and you can even play it risky and only check cams every other sound cue, and only check cams every once in a while to rewind Joe's track. And of course, check on Trump if you see the little red danger mark thingy. And for f***'s sake, I was just about to say not to flash check, goddammit. It is literally useless. Yeah, Joe has a point. We are already at 65%. But he is right outside. I will flash check one more time. Don't, goddammit, Barack. Why do you have to be so anxious all of the freaking time? Just don't come crying for help once you lose this game to running out of freaking power. We will be absolutely fine, Joe. Just don't worry about it. We are experts. Experts and shit. What are you an expert in? That is absolutely right. Nothing. Besides sleeping and children, of course. Check Joe's track. We have a ton of time. What is worrying me is Obama sitting right outside our door. Oh, there he is. Do you see how important it is to keep on flash checking, Joe? Are you going to close the door? Wait a sec. We have to conserve power the best we can, so we can wait for him just a little bit before closing the door, which will save us power. Or we just frickin' die. How does that save power anyways? By stalling until the last second and then closing the door, he restarts his cycle later, which means he will need more time for each single cycle, which means he will do less cycles, which means that we won't need to close the door as much, so we save power. If we just close the door once we saw him, he will start his next cycle earlier which will give him more time for more cyclists. Have you been missing out on your English classes or what? Why do you speak like an absolute degenerate? Watch out, Trump is doing something and make sure you don't miss the shock this time. When have I missed a shock in my entire life, huh, Joe? A few days ago. As Donald once said, this is the fake media. There is the sound cue, check cams. This is not like the past nights, Donald. We are already at 49% and it is only 2 a.m. I will risk it for the biscuit and wait for the second sound cue. Just check cams, Barack. It is not worth it. You also need to rewind Biden's track and you flash checked anyways. This night is far gone. No, there is quite a bit until we need to rewind Biden's track. And Obama will be here at any moment. Check it. God damn it. Well, there goes another 1% of our power. Someone should fire that idiot who forgot to fill the power up. Just as I've said, we've got plenty of time for Biden's track. But why the hell is it taking way more time than usual to get rewound? As the week progresses, everything gets longer. Joe, what the absolute frick do you mean by that? Things like the track gets longer to be rewound and stuff like that. Is anyone else wondering why the hell is Camo 5 disconnected? What if Obama is there? Obama isn't there. He is right here. Are you going to stick to the negative 999 IQ play that you did last time? Yes, sir. It is working. So why are you complaining? Did you just call me, sir? Let's not get sidetracked. I am complaining because it is high risk, low value. How do you even know that the amount of cycles that he does per night is not fixed? Joe has one hell of a point, even though that tactic still has another point, which is to minimize the amount of time the door has to be closed. Don't forget Biden's track. We still have a lot of time, and I don't want to waste power on checking cams. So you waste power on flash checking the door? Joe, can you stop pointing out every time he flash checks the door? And for some reason, that got me thinking. 
uh, about the mini game at the end of this night. We already played as Trump, Biden, and Obama. So who will be playing as this time? We will be playing as me. But you are not in the game. What the heck? I am the first president of the 21st century. Of course, I am in a game about the presidents. You said that you have watched a full walkthrough of the game, right, Donald? Who do we play as in the mini game at the end of this night? First of all, Obama did a move, and somehow you are both right. You play as a nobody, a.k.a. George. Looking at how slow the track gets used, we can assume that we will only need one more rewind during this night so you can chill and stop wasting power on checking cams or flash checking the doors. You know, Joe, you only make me want to flash check just in case. You're an asshole for that. My Trumpy senses are telling me that Trump is about to do something. Holy shit, is that an actual thing? Yes, of course it is. What did you think? That I am an average Joe Schmo walking down the streets? No, I have my spidey, I mean my Trumpy senses everywhere I go. Nah, you just anticipated it because he didn't do anything for a while, so it was obvious that he was about to do something. Hold on, I need to make sure I time this correctly. That was a close one. It is not over yet. I need to time the opening of the door correctly, too. There is no timing of opening the door, you buffoon. You open it once he plays his sound cue. And there you go, wasting another percent for absolutely no freaking reason at all. Is flash checking your dope, Barack? Is it what gets you your high? You literally sound like the overly raised white kid who grew up afraid of saying damn or he will get no cookies. Da, dang, how did you know that? It's simple, you sound like one. It is starting to get quiet, let me get my high as Joe said. Trump is doing something with the electrical shit. Why don't they just remove Trump from the game entirely? He is too easy to make the game any harder or any funner, but he is just annoying. But there is something that you have forgotten about. A single flash takes almost one entire percent of the power. Joe, why do you care about every single bit of power as if it was a nine-year-old? What? That joke was so lame it left all of us speechless. Obama was very close. Flash check the right door. Before you say anything, Joe, we are already at 4 a.m. We only need to survive for less than two more hours and we have 17 percent, which is plenty. Well, one more hour. Is it just me or does time move faster than real life in this game? No, time moves slower, but because you are focused and you are enjoying the game, time feels faster. Ain't no way it has been five hours since we started playing. George doesn't think of hours as minutes, which kind of makes sense, to be honest. But anyways, an hour in the game lasts around 90 seconds. So Donald thought what you meant was, is a minute in the game, a.k.a. an in-game hour, as long as a minute IRL? which is no. Why the hell do you speak so slow? I need Subway Surfer's gameplay to listen to you. We almost forgot to rewind Biden's track. I mean, should we even bother? It will last for the rest of the night. Careful, though. We are at 9% only. There might be less than a minute left, but it is still losable. So should I just keep on flash checking instead of checking cams? Would that consume less power? I think Joe is exaggerating. No way we run out of power anytime soon. There is about 30 seconds left on the game. And look, Obama is on his computer, so we pretty much won already. But should I flash check, though, just in case? Check Biden's track. Let's make sure that it is going at the pace that we anticipated. It is going at an even slower pace, which puts us in the green. I don't see how we can lose now. Maybe the 5% that we have left runs out. Look, Joe, 3, 2, 1. Boom, now you can shut the hell up. That timing was so shit, it made me want to cry. Moment of truth, who will we play as? Ha 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 I told you, George, we will be playing as you and nobody. Ha ha ha. What will we be collecting, George? What does that even mean? They got it spot on. George doesn't know what he will be collecting, so they made him collect absolutely nothing. Have you watched a full playthrough of the game to know what he will be collecting? No, he will be collecting shoes. Get it, George? Ha ha ha. Are you using ChatGPT to make up your jokes? Because they damn suck. That roast hit harder than a Crusader tank in Syria. Are you ever going to stop using that reference? Never. Holy shit, what is that? That was my comeback to George's presumably epic roast. Anyways, that is it for today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And join our Discord server. Link in the description. We just might have the most active Discord community server like ever. Dream big, big bro. Dream big. All right, boys. Today we are playing the final night of Five Nights at Biden's. It has been real, everyone. By the way, where is George? He is not here again. 
Why can't he free himself for 10 damn minutes? Did you forget how we do this, Sleepy Joe? Since this is the finale of this series, then it will be a long one, baby. Let's go. Let's McFrickin' go. Oh, there you are. Did you really think that I will miss the finale of this series? Ain't happening. Let's go, Donald. Okay, here we go. Get ready and comfy. This will be a tough one. And there goes that old dude again. How many times do we have to tell you? We have been almost an entire week through this, and we don't need your bloody help. The fifth night has something special, so listen closely to what he has to say. If he says Dogecoin again, I will smash his head with a frickin' spoon. Hello? Hey, man, what are you still doing in that building? We closed down the underground facility this morning. Some sort of fatal accident with the Model T. One of the others is missing. I'm not sure what happened, but you have to get out of there. Wait till 6 a.m. before you leave the building. We already moved all of the models that were active on the site to a sister location. As you can see, the entire building is empty. Just hang tight and wait it out. Pretty easy, right? See you soon. Did you just say that you will smash his head with a frickin' spoon? I am pretty sure that is not what we should be focusing on right now. What is important is, if all of us are out of here, then who is here with us? Did you check each and every single cam? Yes, he did, and there was nothing there. Sad to say it, Joe, but we will need to flash check. Why do you think that I just hate flash checking? What the hell was that? I don't know, check cams. Maybe flash check, right? It was on the right, but it was far away. Look, he broke the exit door's window. Does that mean that he ran out of here? Are we safe? I am very, very, very sure. That is the absolute 720 degrees off of what has just happened. 720 degrees, look, check the basement. Is that me? No, it is mother Putin. Let's get his ass. Even if that means to flash check every other second? If we have to flash check, then we have to flash check. It is simple. So all we needed to do to shut Joe the hell up is to say that we need to flash check. Otherwise, Putin will come. So am I nowhere in the game, guys? No, we have told you before, and we will keep on telling you until you freaking get it. No, you are nowhere in this game. It is only about me, Joe, and Barack, and Putin, too. And the guy from Tesla. The guy from Tesla that keeps on giving us bad advice and not warning us until it is too late. Look at his dumb ass. Where did he go? I'm checking. Hold on. Maybe check the doors. You know, you are the last one we expected that from. Anyways, I am not sure if we should be checking the doors right now. I will check cams again first. What is he doing in my bed? You sleep for 36 hours a day. That bed has got to be softer than a cloud, sleepy Joe. He was in the hall. Damn, you don't got to scream like that. Check basement, quick. On it. So when he screams for something obvious, you are totally fine with it. But when I scream for something you didn't notice, you scream back at me. That's because nobody likes you, George. Nobody likes you either, Sleepy Joe. And nobody likes you, Donald. If you all hate me, then why do we play together? Heck, all of you hate one another. Then why do we play each and every single game that we play together? Look, it's that dumbass Putin. And back to your dumb question, idiot Bush. It is a toxic relationship all four of us are in. We like hating on one another, that is why. And you could have used your head and asked yourself the same damn question, but you wouldn't. He is not at the left, neither the right. Where the hell did he go? He didn't even move, you idiot. Go back to cams. No, he played a sound cue that we couldn't hear because of Donald's ugly voice. Check cams, then complain about my so-called ugly voice later. See? He is not there. I never said that you were a liar. I just didn't hear the sound cue, that's all. Should you check the doors? He is not in the main floor, so he's more likely to be right outside. Is any of you guys still alive? Holy hell, that jump scare was something else. Did Joe make it? Yeah, he is gone. Let's try again. I think I know why we lost this time. What the absolute shit, Donald? Joe just died and all you are thinking about is a fan-made game of FNAF? Well, he will come back to life in a minute. It always happens. Just don't worry. Let's continue playing and he will be fine. Hold on. I know how we can bring him back to life. Flash check left, Barack. Don't! You're a genius. So once Whoa. it gets real, all of hey, you man, guys break you character? Damn, I never break character because I am not making up one. Sort of Shut the hell up, Elon. Take us to where we stopped one last time. Do you mean when you died for the, I don't know, time? And here comes the breaking in sound again. Let's teach Walter Black a lesson. Uh, is it because he is breaking in? Exactly. Wow, I am still here, by the way. Why do you think I said it in the first place? Donald, you racist son of a... Check basement, fast! Damn. Your mic is broken, George. Listen up. We want to focus this game. We don't want another retry. So don't get greedy on power and use it all you want on flash checking both doors and be quick at doing everything. Switch between checking the doors and cams frequently. 
So now I check the doors, right? Yes, do it. Hold on, yeah, flash check, but when you hear footsteps. These footsteps? Yes, flash check, quick, what are you waiting for? For crying out loud, don't use that shitty tactic of yours to save power in this night. But it worked. Well, it didn't work last night. We lost last night because I was checking cams while he was right outside. That is a whole different story. Besides, I was still hearing footsteps, so I didn't want to flash check before he was close, and then we would have thought that we are safe while we aren't. Well, check cams now. Check cams, then flash check left. Joe. What? It was your own tactic to not flash check until we hear footsteps, which wasn't a frickin' minute ago. What the heck? Didn't I just shock him a few seconds ago? Apparently, you missed it. How the hell is he supposed to miss a flash? Then explain what has just happened right in front of our eyes? I can't explain that. You guys are so frickin' dumb. He needs two flashes instead of one with the normal models. You imbeciles! I'm pretty sure I heard something left. Hold on. I knew it. Bye bye, Suka. Is Barack the only one that is yet to say something racist? When have I ever said anything racist? Your existence represents racism, Ding Donald. None of us got that. Can you say it again? Just forget about it. Anyhow, check cams. You haven't in a while. Remind me again. What is the point of checking cams? Um, to see where he is? You know, I actually just realized it is probably pointless to check cams unless he is doing something with the power in the basement, because he will end up at our door no matter which cam he is on. But what if he is in Joe's room? Can't he jump scare us from the vent if he is there? Well, what can we do about it? Hold on, that is the cam right outside left. Flash left quick, Barack. Can you be quiet, Donald? We can't hear his footsteps to know when we should flash. Are you saying that my voice is ugly? It is not time for that at all. What if he is in my bedroom? What should we do? Won't he come in through the vent? First of all, he just left left so you can open the door to not waste any more power. And if he is in your bedroom, Joe, you deal with it. No, he means in game. And in that case, I think we should be looking at him through cams so he teleports away. I think that is the whole point of cams in this night. Why did you just flash check left? There was no sound, no nothing. He panicked, most likely. No, I heard him there. Enjoy your good hearing abilities while you still can, Barack. What? Exactly. Well, I might have good hearing, but that doesn't mean that I can hear him leaving while all three of you are talking. Well, he did leave, so you can open the door now. Oh, really? I thought you said that you can't enjoy good hearing anymore. That is me and Joe. George is still young. Younger by a month. Steps right. See, when nobody is talking, even Joe can pick up these quiet steps. No, I can pick them up because I have the best otolaryngologist out of all of us. The best otolaryngo shit what? It's Tony, Donald. I told you several times that he is the best otolaryngologist, but you won't believe me. What is an otolaryngo shit, it, Joe? An ear doctor. I didn't know that we were in a The More You Know episode. Well, can we focus on the game for now? What do I have to do now? Check cams. You missed him. He was in camo three. Well, let's chill down and wait for him to make a sound. Looks like that is not happening anytime soon. Remember to flash him twice. Huh? Where did he go? We have to look for him. There is that bastard. The red mark thingy is still there. Flash him again. Oh, it's gone. Yeah, it appears for a little while after we flash him, it is either a bug or a feature. But let's say it is a feature so we don't get sued. What the hell is he saying? How are you a president and you can't even speak Russian? Joe is a president and he can't speak Russian. Who said I can't speak Russian? Just listen. Um, Suka! I can confirm that that is Russian. Hi there, Suka. I kind of feel by the look on his face that we are starting to make him upset. Suka, 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 he left, by the way. Are you sure about that? Have I ever been wrong, Barack? Yes, you have, and now you will ask me when. You were wrong in Mr. President's finale. You were wrong in Mario Brothers' Wii. You were wrong in Blood of Patriots. You were wrong in... Yeah, but who asked? Me. Nobody asked for your opinion, Joe. Suck a shoe, Donald. Holy shit. You have unlocked new levels of five-year-old Asian. Where did he go? He teleports somewhere else after the first shock, so we need to look for him. Oh, there is that Suka. Now close cams and make sure he is not at either door. Should I flash check now or wait for the sound cue? You should flash check both doors and then open cams. On it. Right clear, left clear, check cams. Come on, we are at 4 a.m., baby. Two more minutes. Well, technically, it is three minutes as an in-game hour is one and a half minutes long. There is the sound cue. Whatever that was wasn't footsteps. He moved from a room to another. And how does that matter to us? It's for ambience. Or maybe he moved to a closer room. Make sure to check every single cam, even the basement. 
I knew I heard something. Thank God you didn't just follow what Joe told you. Not saying that Joe is necessarily dumb, even though he is. I was just saying, just shut the hell up, you dumbass. Did he leave? Yeah, he did say some stuff in Russian, which should indicate that he has left. Or we can use our frickin' eyes and see that we are still alive. I had no clue we were playing with Aristotle's great-great-grandson. Eris who? He is basically making fun of your philosophy. I didn't say anything philosophical. Yeah, you did. Close cams, Barack. I heard something on the right. Did you visit Tony recently, George? It seems like you did. Hold on, I want to hear him leaving. He already did. You really need to visit Tony, Barack. He does bring your hearing 20 years back. Book a visit for me, too. And what now? Now we wait for the footsteps to appear again. I think I'm hearing something. Yeah, these are the footsteps. Check right, Barack. Good frickin' call, Joe. Sleepy Joe isn't sleepy anymore. What are you gonna do exactly right after we are done filming this video? I will take a small 36-hour nap. So you are still sleepy, but awake. I can't really understand what you have just said, Barack. I just woke up. It's 5 a.m. We have to win it. No other option. And if we don't, then I will go sleep with Joe. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Get your head out of the frickin' gutter. I meant that I will sleep in my bed at the same time that he goes to sleep in his bed. Well, it seems quiet for now, so I think it is GG's already, no? No, being close to winning doesn't make the game any easier. We can still lose at the last second, so keep your guards up, and actually more than you would have because we are about to win. So is Joe Aristotle's great-great-great-grandson? Basement fast. Imagine if we lost at 5 a.m. just because he cut the power and we didn't get to shock him in time. That would be hilarious. What the hell is hilarious? The way you look. Back to the five-year-oldism. The basement. Why is he focusing on the basement so much? Is he trying to bring what I said a few moments ago to life or take Joe's children that he trapped in that basement? He better not try and take them. Only God can help him from what Joe will do to him if he tries to. Let's go. Rip. This was a good series, y'all. I am kind of sad that it has ended, but tell us in the comments, what games do you want to see us play next? Did we go through all of that hell for 69 bucks? Are you being serious right now, Elon? 69 bucks? You can buy like 12 cereal milk ice cream cones with that. This is the best deal, like, ever. Well, thanks for watching this epic series, and stay tuned for even better series coming soon. And if you are not subscribed already, then you should subscribe right now, or Joe will visit you at night and sniff your hair. And join our growing Discord community. Let's see if we can reach 400 members by the end of September. 400 members? That is one hell of a goal. But you guys are the goats and can absolutely do it.